Hi, Gemini, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing well, and thank you all for subscribing to my channel and to my uh, new viewers. I welcome you, and please subscribe. And let's jump right in and see what the um, angel aura oracles have for us today. It's the theme of your reading. And uh, you're going on a spiritual adventure, and the number 39 could be important. You could be seeing repetitions of 3 and 9. And those are numbers of change and movement. And you're moving forward spiritually on this adventure. Uh, and you might be traveling or getting a new education about spiritual uh, subjects um, or going back to an old um, religious training you had before or a practice because you're uh, having these experiences that are inspiring you now uh, to uh, move forward. And you're going toward this evolution. You could be feeling this uh, incredibly uh, potent light, green, uh, flowing light around you. Just feeling that healing and well-being around you as you feel this empowerment uh, coming for you, Gemini. And you're transforming. You're protected and you're prepared for this uh, a spiritual adventure wherever it's taking my uh, Gemini. And so let's... <clears throat> Jump right in and see what the tarot cards have for uh, Gemini today. And thank you so much, uh, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading. And we invite you, Gemini, to uh, bring your own thoughts, feelings uh, to this uh, question you're bringing. And that way, each card is a portal into your personal story. You're the Ace of Cups. Well, there's a, a renewal of love. You're feeling this abundance around you of happiness, of fulfillment, of feeling at ease, um, and this holy love around you. Maybe this feeling of love of the divine around you, the beloved, just uh, pouring uh, this feeling of uh, abundance, of this purity of the heart on you. And you're receiving it because uh, you're having to take a time out to rest, to renew, to think about, to meditate on this love. And you're doing that with great um, um, courage to take time to heal, to rest, to renew, and to uh, get this information from your higher guides about this love. And you see how in both the... Um, the ace, the um, energy of the water is just pouring down as here the sword. So there's information coming down uh, from the heavens, both with uh, your meditation and your prayers, but also uh, from this divine love. This You're receiving that. And at the foundation, you have this queen of swords. This could be an Aquarius at the foundation, at the root of what you're thinking about this question about the love. Um, or that uh, this uh, queen is bringing truth from these dreams and intuitions uh, that you're getting as you meditate about love uh, that is there at the foundation and you're cutting through to the truth of love. You might be up in the clouds seeing things uh, from a new perspective as you rest and renew uh, because you have in the recent past felt that there has been some lying, cheating, stealing about something uh, in the realm of your mind, about a strategy, about trying to get your way. Gemini, this is very narcissistic energy, manipulative. Instead of facing something directly, you get other people um, involved and you manipulate other people to do your uh, dirty work. Or you can actually literally be having had somebody steal uh, from you recently or lie to you or cheat on you or take something from your property. And <clears throat> the Knight of Swords boat is coming in with quick um, in information and intelligence about this to look at is it a strategy that's worthy of um, looking at or is it really just deceit, manipulation, deception? And you're looking at this. You're looking back. You see how this is, uh, this knight is looking right back to this uh, seven of a sword saying, you know, I'm getting information on this. I'm uh, looking this over. I'm going to be on a crusade about seeing what was going on in the recent past about this situation. 
And what's coming now is the King of Wands. Well, you're um, going to take leadership about this. Whatever this night is, um, that's getting the information and going on a crusade and uh, very excited and determined to go after the Seven of Swords. But uh, the King of Wands is looking back uh, to that energy of um, deceit, but it has to look through a time of healing and rest and renewal to see what is this new love offer uh, that could be um, something from the past that was a stealing love, cheating on love. And you're going to come in with truth because you've got the uh, knight and the queen um, at the crown and at the foundation. And they're going in opposite directions, but the queen, she's not going to uh, put up with falseness of what is not good for her and uh, Gemini. So these are also cards of the air signs. There's a lot of air in this. And you are taking up this boss position of leadership about a passion, an intuition, something you're seeing about the past. Uh, because uh, you um, see at the foundation of how you see this love is the star, is hope, renewal. It could be this love with this Aquarius, that you're involved with an Aquarius and that's the love. And that uh, you need... Uh, this love needs to rest. Um, that is what will help the love, is to meditate on it, to rest, uh, to uh, have optimism, uh, to heal. There are two cards here of healing. And the environment is the Six of Pentacles, where uh, there's a balance, give and take. Uh, you're sharing, generosity, um, a windfall of money and um, now being able to be uh, equally balanced in a situation, uh, pulling your weight, sharing your wealth. And you got the queen of pentacles because you can nurture and uh, receive. And you see the rabbit here, she's very productive and abundant with whatever she uh, touches and nurtures, it really grows and flourishes. And um, the Nine of Swords is saying, but out of all of this, maybe you're still having some nightmares, uh, some time of anxiety and worry uh, about this uh, situation that happened in the past that you felt you were lied to, uh, something uh, was taken from you, you were manipulated. This is kind of narcissistic abuse that can cause Gemini these nightmares, these worries about the past about something that happened, uh, that came in quick, this energy, this information. It could have been some sudden information that was difficult to process. But you're seeing this love as very healing and renewing and inspiring. And it's going to balance things out and bring generosity and wealth, abundance, passion, a new business. Uh -huh. So there's a lot going on here for my Gemini. And you've got this period of a spiritual adventure, and you're evolving uh, into this sacred love. And you're having to meditate and rest and get um, some answers from your ancestors. And so we're going to call on uh, those elders within us, those ancient um, ones that have been here on the earth for uh, millions of years. And this is what they want you to know about the Ace of Cups Retreat and recharge. It's time right now, uh, Gemini, to re retreat and recharge in the realm of love. And this Four of Swords is also saying retreat <laughs> and recharge and renew and heal and take time out because you're dropping your shield now. Whatever you've been uh, holding up, um, defending yourself, being closed off, you're dropping that and resting and healing because the hunter is at the foundation. You're tracking your fears and desires uh, with the queen and she's giving you that mental um, clarity to do so. And the seven of swords, why is this here? This stealing, lying, cheating, deceiving, manipulating, a narcissistic abusive energy, uh, trickery, deception, because uh, you're shedding old skin. 
Gemini, well, that might have been something in the past that you did, but now you're shedding that old skin. You don't need to do that anymore because you have this energy coming in from the night to use your mind and to go after something, this spiritual journey, this evolution, uh, because you're unleashing the wild within you. Yes, you're able to uh, drop your shield and unleash that wildness because you're going to boss up and take your energy and be the Lord. Uh, take charge and authority of whatever these uh, passions, drives, uh, energies, uh, wishes, intuitions, insights. And you've got the spirit fox as the star. Well, the spirit fox helps you with the star to shine and renew and heal and use your talents in changing times. Well, that's what the star does. The star uses the talents and gifts um, in the changing uh, time of the darkness, but brings that gifts out to inspire others. And then the environment will benefit with a lot of abundance and sharing a reciprocal relationships because you are standing your ground with that relationship, with the environment around you, and making sure that does happen by standing up for whatever that is um, that needs to be balanced in your give and take of wealth. And you are exchanging energy to create abundance. Well, that's what uh, this <clears throat> queen does. She exchanges her energy. She's part of commerce, of trade of give and take of energies and moving things around. And that's how things grow, investments. And the Nine of Swords, well, why is this here, Gemini? What is it that you're so worried about and uh, having some nightmares about? Let's see what that is. Uh, make plans and focus. Well, maybe you have to do these, make these plans and focus, or else you worry at night and wake up in the middle of the night, but you're planning and focusing on this evolution that is requiring a spiritual adventure. And that's where you're going. And that's what I have for you. And let's get one uh, final card uh, to uh, summarize this uh, reading as a gift for Gemini to take away. And if you like this reading, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, um, all of you out there. And uh, what is this uh, shield maiden? You're making plans and focusing, and that's going to help you with this nightmare because you're communicating. That's what you've been needing. You've been kind of cut off from communication. So you might need to be around a bonfire this weekend with others, with friends, and share information. Be accurate. Express yourself to be intimate and honest, and that's what you do when you uh, drop your shield and you let the um, unleash that she will really speak your truth. And communication is very important for my Geminis, and so that's what you're working on, taking that out, expressing yourself, and dropping the shields, and um, taking all of this investment energy out there and know you'll be productive and abundant. And you know I love you, Gemini, and we're in this interconnected field growing and learning and learning to communicate with accuracy and intimacy and truth. And that's what I have for you today. And see you next time. Bye-bye.